plant. The stretch of central between downtown and Old Town has come a long way in recent years, but there is still one property that is beyond fixing up. Now the city wants it torn down. As News 13's Courtney Allen reports, neighbors are all for it. This area is filled with booming businesses, but as you can see behind me, there's still one left behind that sticks out like a sore thumb. Dan Garcia calls this stretch of Central home. We've been in business 44 years. Uh, Garcia's here on Central has been in business 34 years. The vice president of Garcia's Kitchen has seen the area between Lomas and Laguna transform over the years. This place has evolved a lot. Back from when we first moved here, there was a lot of beat up places. Now you can find a private school, luxury condos, restaurants, coffee shops, and breweries. It's a nice area. It's developed nice. But there's still one eyesore that remains. It sticks out. It sticks out really harshly. A new city resolution aims to declare the building at 1623 Central a nuisance and plans to demolish the boarded up building. It just looks like trash. It's right across the street from Amore Pizzeria. Just empty, vacant. It's been there as long as I've been working here for about three years now. Employees there say the property is known to attract squatters and troublemakers. Like the patio or the porch on the front actually burned down about a month ago. Not the best, um, especially with like this new building here and everything like that. And then um, the, we have like a lot of new stuff that's been opening up all around and everything. Businesses here, both new and old, say it's hurting the area's growth and it's time for it to go. Any place that's beat up and run down like that doesn't fit in any neighborhood, and especially here on Central and stuff, it could be uh, a whole lot nicer. If City Council signs off on this, the Southern California based owner would have 10 days to tear down and clean up. If he fails to do so, the city would step in and do it and charge him $24,000. Courtney Allen, KRQE, News 13. No word yet on when the City Council could vote on tearing that house down.